Hey party people, welcome to today's video where I will be showing you three options for decorating clear acrylic box bags. We're taking our cues from Fendi, Versace, and Louis Vuitton. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Here you will find fashionable accessories like bags, tassels, and cute cases, as well as thrift flips, tips and tricks for working with leather. You know the drill. If you're interested in that kind of stuff, hit the notification bell so you can hang out with us. So how did we get here? The inspiration for today's project started with Louis Vuitton. They released a couple of bags, one square and one round, initially created for perfume bottles. Well, a lot of people liked them and converted them into bags. So today we are making our own version and I'm adding two other options. If you're a peel and stick chick, <laughs> you can totally do this. This bag is great for special occasions like music festivals or sporting events or makes a really cute gift. The bag that I'm using is not very big and only fits a few things. A list of tools and materials can be found down below in the description box. Fendi, easy. Initially, I made the bag in a darkish yellow color, but I lost the footage and had to remake the bag. So the second time, I made it in black. I printed out a copy of the design so that you can see it. Okay, so let's get started. For these sticker projects, the only tool you'll really need is the weeder. I highly recommend it because it just makes your work faster. See how easy the stickers pull up? Start by cutting the grid paper the same size as the side of the box you're working on. Peel off the clear layer, stick this to the top side of the sticker. Next, flip this over and then working from the back, remove the paper backing and start to weed your sticker. Weeding basically means removing all the parts that you don't need that are around your design. A few tips. A few things to keep in mind. One, the Fendi print one, the reason the Fendi print is really easy is because the whole design is already mapped out and spaced and cut for you. All you have to do is to remove the parts in between. Two, the sticky parts are, well, very sticky. So as you're removing this, do so very carefully and take your time. I find it helpful to pull the parts that need to be removed straight up, taking care to not let them touch any part of the design. It's a good idea to trim, trim and cut away any excess. I was a little nervous at first doing this, so I started in a small spot so I could get the hang of it. Try a top corner on the side of the box. In terms of the design, it will fit between the joints, so make sure you use your grid lines and the joints to get things centered and straight. you've got your design in place, press it down and then pull up the plastic grid. Smooth or push out any air bubbles, like you would do if you were working with contact paper.
Louis Vuitton, Intermediate. I love color, so it was fun picking and choosing which colors to put where. The sticker bundle has about 14 colors in the LV print, so there are plenty of options to customize and make it your own. There are enough stickers for two bags and plenty of leftovers just in case you want to use it for something like a cell phone cover or a makeup case. For placement, you can either freestyle or you can follow the LV design. Fast forward the video if you plan to freestyle. If you want to follow the LV design, however, this is how the pattern goes. Now, mind you, I made up these names, but I just want to kind of show you what I'm talking about. The strategy is to place the stickers vertically, then build them out on either side. Let's look at the highlighted area. Number A, LV, box plus spear, LV, then box plus spear. Number B, spear, spear, spear. Number C, box plus spear, flower plus circle, box plus spear, flower plus circle. Okay. Also, keep in mind there is a random flower included with the bundle. This is not a part of the LV pattern, however, but I did use them to fill in the design and give it more color. If you mess up, you can adjust things. Just be very careful when you pull the stickers up. In terms of color, I just had fun and mixed it up. The other thing just to keep in mind in terms of placement is that everything is at a diagonal. So this will help you visually keep in mind how to space things out. Versace Advanced. The reason that I'm calling this sticker advanced is because it takes a lot of time to weed it and you have to do it very, very carefully because there's a lot of bits and bobs to this thing. The hardest part I will confess and I just want to put a disclaimer on it is the face. Unlike the Fendi print for example which is pretty easy, these pieces are very tiny and with in terms of the face, there's nothing for the internal facial features to connect to. Now, it does turn out fly and it's worth the effort. Make sure that you have your printed image handy as you will be referring back to this often. Peel back the backing layer from the grid. Apply the grid to the front side of the sticker. Flip over and remove the backing. Using your weeding tool, or weed away any of the parts that you don't need. So, as I said, just take your time and then in no time, it'll be done. Just as we did with the Fendi bag, in terms of the placement, we're going to fill in the tops, fill in the sides, and then start with the back and then do the front. And you just want to eyeball it and make sure that the placement is straight.
that's it. Congratulations. We have completed this bag. All right, party people. So that's it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for checking this out. And thank you so much for rocking with me. If you enjoyed this video and you like this content, please do give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.